Hello. I just wanted to give a brief demonstration of your organ, just kind of a tour of it. Uh, this is the new organ that I just finished. All 22 keys on the keyboard. We've got this strap here. This is the carrying strap. Let me get this straight here. Okay. The carrying strap goes over the left shoulder. Okay. And then under the right arm. All right. So your chest is against the organ like this. And if you, um, if you have it on a table like this, it's probably the most convenient for slipping it up over your head like so. And you can wear it like this, see? Okay, so that's how that works. Now the left hand operates the bellows, the right hand plays with the keyboard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bellows here. The bellows are attached back here. Uh, and they're actually underneath. Um, this design helps it to be really, really compact. Now there's a little belt here with a button. You unsnap the button and the bellows fall open, you see? And so those are operated with the left hand. They'll inflate on their own. Uh, and so all you have to do is let go of them and, they f and, and it fills back up. Now, I mean, I'm... see how that deflates as I'm pushing the key over here blindly. I think I have the lowest one, yeah. And so if I let go, see it automatically drops. So that's particularly helpful if uh, you're playing, you can uh, take advantage of any little tiny pause in the song and you'll be able to uh, just let go of the bellows momentarily. Uh, note on playing, to get those nice clear notes, you want to push on the bellows just before, just before pushing a key. Now of course you can vary the pressure, so you can create a, a um, vibrato effect. Uh, if you push really hard, you get these really harsh notes. If you don't push hard enough, you get these really weak kind of kind of sounds. So the the goal you're going for is a pressure that's kind of in between. It's not like that, and it's not really weak. It's so that's the idea there with the bellows. Um, there's a trick. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom, but there's these the air holes. You can, if you want to let the air out, you can just barely touch one of those valves inside. It's a little flap of white leather. You can see it through the air hole. And that just causes, that just breaks the seal just enough so you can let the air out. So you can do that. That's a little trick that this organ has. And then of course you can snap that back. Just in case you're worried you've got the bellows full and you'd really like to close them back up, you know, it's a quicker way than just playing a, a really big chord. Of course that works too. You play a nice long chord and that empties out the bellows really fast, you know, three or four notes together, empties the bellows out, and then you can snap it back again. That's the usual way of doing it. But if you want to do it silently, that's a little trick there too. Just be really careful with those valves. Don't jam something up there like a pencil or something like that. They wouldn't want to do that. That could damage them. You just want to use just the tip of your finger and just touch the valve. You're just barely nudging it so it breaks the seal and then the air can spill back out, okay? So you want, but you do want to be careful with those valves. Now, last detail. This is not a, uh, th this organ is, has uh, pipes that are called stop, uh, open pipes, not stopped pipes, they're open pipes. The open pipes have these uh, tuning tabs on top. Now these have been carefully adjusted here in my shop. I'm going to pack them really careful so you're going to have, you know, it, it should be a perfectly well tuned organ when you get it. So all, all I want you to really focus on at first is just getting the pressure right in that middle area, the, which, which I was mentioning earlier. Not really hard, not really soft, but right there in the, in the middle where the pipes really sound good. Get really good at that. You may not have to adjust these in quite a long time because really as long as these aren't moved, the pipes are in tune with each other. Now I want to mention this uh, organ was tuned at 70 degrees, which means my shop was at 70 degrees Fahrenheit when I tuned this. 
That's because temperature, especially large swings in temperature, can make the pitch of the organ sway a little bit low with the cold weather or higher with the hot weather. It's not very much. Generally, it's not even something to worry about. But if there is a slight shift in pitch and you're playing with some other musicians, my suggestion is have them tuned to you, uh, just because really these are only for fine tuning. These are just to get the instrument well tempered and balanced out and nice sounding. So they're not really, you know, like on a tuning, uh, like on a guitar where you've got tuning pegs and you could tune into some crazy key, you know. You can't really do that on this little instrument. Uh, there's one more thing before I sign off here. Just wanted to mention about this strap, okay? This strap is actually a guitar strap, believe it or not. And it has these handy uh, lugs on them. Now this is U-shaped, so the bolt rests in the U-shaped part at the end of the U. And there's this tiny little deadbolt that comes in and out, and it's controlled by this knob here. So you can pull the knob out, that pulls out the deadbolt, and you can, re and you can release this um, off of the lug on the organ. Okay, same thing on the bottom. They're both exactly the same. You can take them off, you can put them on. Just in case you wanted to do that, I am gonna send the organ with the strap attached. But again, you've got the buckle side is kind of facing out, just to make sure you all don't have it all wound up. Uh, but um, this goes again over the left shoulder, this side, under the right arm, over here. Um, I, I'm just emphasizing that because I've sent it sometimes and, and had a few people uh, get a little confused by the strap for some reason, so I'm just making extra sure of it. I, I'm sure you've, you've fully understood that. So that's basically your organ in a nutshell. Uh, this is uh, two in, er, almost two octaves. 22 notes. Starts on G, ends on E at the top. And so uh, you get the general idea here. And there I am playing really well, huh? <laughs> <laughs>